Hare Krishna. So we have discussed the 10 offenses to the holy name. We have discussed the 11th offense, which is the mother of all the 10 offenses. But now, instead of getting into the offense and then making sure that we rectify it, better than that, why don't we learn to defend it? We should have some defensive actions by which we will not commit offenses. And here are the 10 actions to defend ourselves from committing the different offenses to the holy name. So let's list down all the 10 offenses. The first one is, or the 10 defensive action. And the first one is, serve the holy devotees, serve the Vaishnavas and don't criticize them. Don't blaspheme them. This is the most important thing. Second defensive action. Worship Lord Krishna as the absolute supreme personality of Godhead. And having this complete faith that there is no need to worship other demigods independently. Worshipping Krishna will satisfy them. Third defensive action. Respect the spiritual master. Respect the Guru who has initiated us in this very wonderful path of devotional service, chanting of the holy name. And follow the orders given by him. Making sure that we don't disrespect him by not following his orders. Fourth, glorify the Vedic scriptures which reveal the glories of the holy name. Understanding that without these descriptions given in Shastra, how will I understand the glories of the holy name? Oh, I am so grateful for all these Vedic scriptures which are glorifying the holy name. So this is the fourth thing. The fifth defensive action is, be convinced that the holy name is transcendental. It's all pure. This is also very, very important. Is once we understand it is transcendental, we will not give mundane interpretations to that. Seventh, root out all the desires, sinful desires, the desires for sinful activities. Is a devotee wants to go beyond this body and all sinful activities are related to this body. So devotee should be very careful and this should be a defensive action. Eighth defensive action is give up the ritualistic fruitive activities. After coming to Krishna consciousness, what is the point of doing various ritualistic activities? The only thing that we should do is pure devotional service onto the lotus feet of Krishna. So that we attain the ultimate destination, ultimate goal and that is Krishna Prem. Ninth, Reveal the glories to the holy, of the holy names. To whom? Only to the devotees. Very, very important. So discuss the glories of the holy name very nicely amongst all the wonderful devotees in the Sadhu Sangha. And finally, the tenth defensive action is chant very diligently, very attentively and fully surrender to the holy name of the Lord. Develop that attachment to the holy name of the Lord. So these are the 10 defensive actions. And any devotee who is very eager, very eager to advance in Krishna consciousness, should make sure that these 10 defensive actions are implemented in day-to-day -day life. And especially today when we are chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, we should pray to Krishna. That, oh Krishna, please give me enough intelligence and enough clarity to implement these 10 defensive actions, so that I can get closer to you. So this mode, let's begin our chanting. Hare Krishna. <laughs>